The objective today is to review and demo the benefits of the PDS Vision eLearning platform. My name is Bill and I specialize in industrial design and rendering. Foundry Systems, uh, we are a tech leader. Some partners of ours include PTC, eTraj, and other tech companies. Uh, we are one of the 16 fastest growing companies in Cleveland. Uh, we are a part of the PDS Vision group of companies. Um, capabilities of ours include PLM, CAD design and consulting, simulation, and product development. Some awards of ours include the Inc. 5000, Weatherhead 100, and some major accreditations of ours are the PTC Platinum Partnership. Uh, we are Windchill certified implementers, PTC's preferred service providers, and we are PTC authorized certified training partners for Creo, Windchill, MathCAD, and ArborText. Some software solutions that we provide are, of course, PTC solutions, um, also for Tacton, Moldex 3D, Xformation, Etraj, ITI, ZWCAD, Keyshot, Sigmaxim, and Samerix. Topics for today. Um, so we'll go over the um, benefits of PDS Vision e-learning and why you want to use it. Uh, we'll go over the platform, including the homepage, work center, and the learning center. Okay, so right to it. Benefits of e-learning. Um, so the first is that you have learning on demand. So at any point during the day, 24 seven, you have access to it, right? So if it's two o'clock PM, if it's 3 AM, um, if there's information that you need to get up to speed on Creo 7, or if there is a feature in, in Creo that you have to learn about it, um, the access is there on demand 24 seven. The third is ease of use. Um, so the, the platform is very easy to use. It's very easy to find your way around, not complicated at all. Um, the fourth is customizable training content. So um, if there's training, uh, training development or if there is a um, you know, learning course that you have to have to develop that includes a different, you know, a different uh, feature or multiple feature from different functionality within Creo, you can, you can combine those things and kind of create your own course. Um, so, so basically the um, combination of that 24 seven access of, of learning that's on demand, combined with the ease of use, combined with the uncustomizable training content leads to increased productivity. So there's less downtime for your users. And we all know that less downtime also leads to increased profitability because your users are able to consistently um, work on their projects. They're not going to be off their workstations. Um, so we know that, you know, if you can reduce the amount of downtime that you have, um, the more projects that you can get done, which leads to increased, increased profitability. All right, so let's go right into the demo. So let's switch to the browser here and we'll take a look at the um, PDS Vision eLearning platform. Um, so you'll see that this is the common dashboard slash home homepage that you see here at the top right you see that we have the um, image of the user you can obviously you know you can upload a you know actual picture of the user of yourself whoever it is that you're um, creating this platform for um, it's also showing the, the number of work groups that i'm part of um, it says that i'm also enrolled in 15 courses and I've completed one course. Um, the My Assets group is basically a favorites group of, it could include a learning path, which is basically a course within this platform, a video document, whether it's a Word document, PDF, right? And there's also a workflow. So these workflows that you see here, we have one called Locate Surfacing Course Exercise Files. That workflow could be even a engineering change request, ECR, um, it could be an onboarding documentation work workflow, work, workflow, but it's basically allows you, if I click, click on it here, you'll see that it's basically a um, workflow that allows you to basically start at the beginning and um, you can click on each one of these levels. The first one would be to, to locate the Creo 4.0 tra training folder. So I can click on that look at the training folder. 
and I even have a link to that training folder and a picture of the image showing the location of that training folder. And I have the course files. Again, I can click on the Open Creo 4.0 Surfacing Training Manual. That shows me where that manual is. And I can actually download that manual with the link. Right. So if there's somebody that you're trying to on, onboard and get them up to speed with, you know, Creo, for example, um, you, you can kind of create this workflow for, for them so they can go and um, find the custom you know, training that you've developed. They can get to it. They can go through the actual training it, itself and you can create this documentation or this workflow to help them kind of along the way. And again, you can use this for an ECR and engineering change request document as an example basically you can create that document to show any processes or any you know workflow that's needed for a, a user to know how to um, navigate through a process and kind of find their way around you can, you can go ahead and do that here so if i go back to the home page and click on the little house symbol here let's click that so this is the home page we kind of went through my assets right here we, we've taken a look at the um, profile image showing the, the groups that were part of the courses that were enrolled in and the courses that we've completed um, down here it shows the my courses um, it shows the, the learning paths that were assigned to us so we have parametric or, or creo parametric 7.0 um, creo parametric 7.0 the, the multi-body enhancements creo 6.0 sweeps and sections and Creoprometric 6.0 design with rounds. So these are all the learning paths that have been assigned to us. Um, also notice above that we have work groups. So if you have different skill sets, different departments, um, different um, groups within your organization, um, you can actually create these some custom groups. We have a, a boundary CAD admin, boundary design team, boundary engineering team. And what's nice about this is that you can assign a user or users, plural, um, to these different groups and assign learning sp specific to these groups and specific to their skill set. Okay, um, bound, down here is the um, live events. Uh, this calendar is kind of nice. Um, so you can schedule e events for the, the users and they'll be able to see those events populate and show up down here. So if I click on these live events, you'll see that we have upcoming events, previous, my events, registered, assigned events, invited, right? So this this can all be done kind of at the admin level and we'll take a look at that later, all right? So let's now move to the um, work center. So in the work center, um, you'll see that we have these different work groups. We have the boundary CAD admin work group. Uh, we have the boundary design team, boundary engineering team. So these are the three different groups that we have set. And right now we're showing the assets that we have for each. So we have a you know, learning path, which is the Windchill PDM Link 11.0, which um, is part of the Boundary CAD admin group. We have this HTML, this HTML, this HTML on documentation, and we have the, the locate surfacing course exercise files. All right, so this is a um, basically a um, workflow that we've created, right? And you'll see that the, the workflow is basically the symbol with a circle comprised of the, the arrows that are kind of um, linked to each other here, All right? Discussion, so this discussion board is for each group, so whether it's the design team, engineering team, CAD admin team, um, you can actually have this little forum within each group where you can comment. So I click on, if I click on design team, I can see that, you know, somebody said this is a, a great, platform i can say you're right please you know assign me advanced modeling right click submit and there it is so if there's any you know discussions that need to take place between the users of each group that that can be done here um and right we right, right here we have the members this we can edit the members i can click on edit um, I can remove a member over here. I can change their role. There's owner, editor, member, right? I can also add a member. So if I want to add a member to the uh, work group boundary theme, I can click on add members 
and um, I can add, an, add another one, right? So um, you can create members, right? But that's more, that's done more at the admin level. So um, the administrator or the person that you give the um, admin rights to um, will have access to the productivity now management utility. And within this window, you have the manage, manage content, learning path assignments, learning reports, usage reports, administrator utility, and homepage, right? So if I want to add a, a user, for example, I can do that. I can go into the administrator utility. I can click on this, right? And then from here, you can see I have users, um, SSO settings, so I have the single sign-on settings um, for a session, permissions. I can assign the permissions to a user. If, if I go back to users, I can create a, a new user and add one. So let's give it a name. Let's add a user. And let's add a email address. All right, and we'll just be a standard user. So we'll select that, click apply, click OK. All right, so now that user John H is showing there. All right, we'll click close. Let's drop this down. Let's refresh this, go into that boundary design team work group. All right, members, add members. All right, so it looks like that person's uh, not showing here. So let's refresh again and make sure that I'm users close, assign learning. All right, here we go. So now we have John H. I want to assign him learning. So I'll select him right here. I can select learning. So there's these courses that I've created. So there's a basic surface design course. I can click that guy right there and assign John learning and click save. It says all learners have been successfully enrolled in, in the selected courses. I'll click OK. All right. And again, if I go to members, now we can see that we not only have RAN 3D and William, we also have John H, right? So this this is kind of nice because you can create these different groups for either you know departments in your your company, different skill sets in your company, and you can assign learning and assets, whether it's a video, a learning path, which is basically a course in um, PDS Vision E learning, um, a, a PDF document, whatever the, the asset is, um, you can assign it to that work group. Right, and that user that's part of that work group will, will have access to it. Okay. All right, and same thing here. So if I go to the um, Boundary CAD admin, you'll see that uh, because this is the CAD admin, we have stuff we have stuff that's re that's related to Windchill, PDM Link 11.0, WT Parts. If we go to Engineering, we see that we have stuff that's dealing with Simulate in Creo 7, Theory and Basics. Um, 2D drawing tools. So I've basically kind of created these, these groups based on skill set. All right. Um, moving along here. So we've looked at the, the home page work groups. And if I move to the um, learning center, right, you can see that we see that same calendar here that we see in the home page. All right. Same same calendar. My, my courses, these are also viewed on the home page. And then below, if we scroll down, we see we have the en enrollment history, right? So it's showing here, for example, these um, courses slash learning paths that were assigned to me. And I have one that's completed. It shows the course, Creo Parametric 6, Advanced Surfaces, the status, which I completed, and the date of completion. And then we would have some below that were kind of dropped or canceled, right? So I can also down, down, download that enrollment history. So I can click this button here or this link. I have a, a PDF that I can save. All right, if I click on the course, right, you can also see that I have the option to download the certificate. So if I click that, right, that shows me the certificate. It says certificate of completion. Boundary user one has has successfully completed the Productivity Now e-learning course, 
right? So I can always save that and I can put it on LinkedIn or whatever just to show that I have these um, certifications. So let's close this one out. Click close. Okay. Um, and notice here also that we have um, browse all training, right? So if I click browse all training, right, we can see that um, we can search by the um, publisher of the training. So there's Ascent, there's Boundary Systems, and then we have the ability to basically search by uh, which version of Creo we're using, uh, whether it's Creo Parametric or Simulate or Windchill. All right, so for example, if I click on Creo Parametric 4.0, right, notice that's gonna show me everything that's related to Creo Parametric 4.0. And then if I go up here to the top, I can search. So if I wanna search for anything that's, that's related to advanced courses, content, or features for Creo Parametric, I can type in advanced in that search bar. Right now it populates and it not only shows um, advanced highlighted right in the heading here or in the um, course, right? But it also shows me in the you know description also where advanced is shown. So if there's a, a feature or something that I wanna take a look at and search for um, and find out what, what course basically goes through that training for that feature, I could even do that. So if I wanna type in sweep, for example, hit enter. It'll search and it'll populate with anything that has sweep in it. So we know that you know if we go through the Creo Parametric 7.0 advanced sketch features, um, it's gonna talk a little bit about sweeps. And then same thing down here, if we scroll down to Creo 6, um, it shows that we have sweep in this course as well. All right. Um, what, what's nice is too, if I click on one of these, so let's go into the um, Creo Parametric 6.0 advanced sketch features. If I select that, notice that uh, we could also enroll uh, not just in the learning path overall at the, at the top level, right? If we enroll, if we click on enroll all up here, we'll enroll in all these topics or um, chapters in the course. But we also have the option to just enroll in specific topics within that course, right? So if we wanted to, to enroll you know, just in the sweeps portion of the Creo Parametric, in, in the Creo Parametric 6.0 advanced sketch features, we can just enroll in that sweeps chapter and click enroll here, right? Um, what's nice is that I can also share this course, right? So if I click on the share button up here, um, I have the option to share via email. So there's a user um, that I wanna share this course with, I can do that. Notifications, so the notifications are up here. If I hover over this little bell symbol or click it, it'll show me these um, notifications I've gotten, whether it's because somebody assigned me a course, if I completed a course or course has been dropped, whatever the information is that pertains to me as a user, it's gonna show up here, okay? But yeah, if I want to from here, I can go and say, hey, you know what? I wanna share the Creo Parametric 6.0 advanced sketch features with the you know, design group, right? So I can click on that share symbol and then go to the share to work group and then say, hey, I wanna share with the design team, select that group and it says, um, intro crew parametric 6.0, advanced sketch features has been shared to the boundary, boundary design team work group, click continue. All right, I can click that. If I go back to my work group, design team, right? we can see that now that course has been added to that work group down here. All right. Okay, so let's let's take it let's take a look, look at some things for the ad, admin level. So we took a look at the um, home page which shows the work groups my courses, calendar slash live events, all right? We took a look at the profile um, group up, up here where it shows our picture with the groups that we're part of, the courses that we're enrolled in. We took, we took a look at the assets, which is like basically a um, 
favorites group, right, of um, topics and different things in, in media that we want to add. So, you know, whether it's a video, a, a PDF, um, Word documents, um, right, anything that we want to add to my assets that we feel like, you know, we're going to be using later on or that we want to actually use as a reference going forward for, um, you know, learning, we can have that all in this my my assets group and access that later. Uh, we took a look at the different work groups that we can create, um, the learning paths, um, training, right? So now there's also a admin aspect of this. So if I bring this guy up, if if you have an admin or if you are the admin that's going to be um, able to create custom content for e-learning, um, you can do that from here. So you have the productivity now man management utility. And if you click on manage content, right, you can see that from here, right, we have the ability now, let me actually move this window down. You now have the ability to actually create your own work workflows, for example, right? So um, this is a, a workflow. Um, here's an example of one that I created, you know, being a Creo trainer, right? I wanted to create this document or this example work workflow of something that shows kind of, you know, how to locate the, you know, Creo 4.0 training folder for training, um, how to access the training files, locate the course exercise files, right? So all this can be done in that workflows tab. Um, documents is the next tab, right? So if there's some documents that you want to add, whether it's custom custom ones that you've created yourself or not, you can upload those here. Same thing with a video, right? So if you have a video that's that's related to you know um, ISDX creating datums, um, you can add those. There's live events. This is where you would add an event, right? So you would select the actual date that the event's on. And then you would say new session. Then you would go in here, schedule it, add in the date, add in the time, give it a name, that that kind of thing, right? Quizzes, right? You can also create your own custom quizzes for training. So we have one quiz that we created called PDS Vision e-learning e quiz, right? And you can see that we created just a little um, test example quiz that says PDS Vision e-learning is awesome e-learning app application true or true or false right and there's the, the learning path right and this is where you can kind of get creative as far as the um the learning path slash course that you're creating um so you can see that if we expand my courses we have a few few folders here advanced part design assembly design surface design so we can expand these nodes and we can see that within these folders we have different learning paths created Right. So if I want to, I could always create a new one. Right. So I can right click on courses, new folder, and I can call this simulate, for example. Click OK. All right. And then within that, I can right click on that folder now and say learning path, new learning path from public content. All right. And click that. All right, and then from here, I can kind of search for what I want, and I'll say, hey, let's create one based on, you know, simulate 5.0 or whatever. Click OK, and, and, and there it is. There's a learning path, right? And then from here, you can decide, hey, you know, do I, do I want this? You know, I might not want all these different chapters within that path, right? So I might want to get rid of that beams and frames and delete it. So it's deleting course, we remove the following. Click yes, right? So you can kind of in here create your own custom learning path and specify what it is relative to that topic, whether it's simulate, assembly design, advanced part design, you can specify what it is that you want to include in training, all right? So let's close out of that, all right? And let's drag this up now. So let's go back to the um, management utility window. And now, you know, we just created that new folder with that learning path for simulate. So let's assign that to somebody. So let's go to learning path assignments. All right. And let's kind of just um, scroll down here. Let's assign courses. Let's look in my courses there, simulate. And I want to assign the course that we just created, which is the Creo Simulate 5.0. 
Let's add that. Let's click next. And then from here, we can assign this to a, a group, right? So I can assign that to the administrator, anybody who's an administrator, a content person, um, a standard user, or just a, a user, right? So if I want to assign this material for simulate to John H, I can select John H, click OK. And I can even assign a due date for that. So I can say, hey, you know what, by May 21st, 2021, um, this has to be complete. Um, it's assigned by me, the boundary user one, and I can also email a course enrollment notification and click finish. All right, and I'll send that out. Okay. All right, and then click close. All right, so now, now I just assign that to the user. Okay, um, so it's, we took a look at the managed content, learning path assignments, and there's also the, the learning reports, right? So if you wanna get some data, some feedback on, on what the users have done, um, in this case, we're in the view reports, let's go to um, lifetime, refresh, let's take a look. So it, sh it shows us the top learners. So the, the top learners are William, Boundary one user, learning time, it shows the um, viewing time and hours, amount of time spent for the users completing the course, upcoming sessions, completed sessions, right? There's also the, the usage reports, right? So I, I can click on this and uh, let's go into lifetime refresh, right? And this shows the amount of, of users, right? So we have currently we, we had three users in in December 2020. Then in April, we just added John. So now we have four users. Um, the image to the right shows the resource access slash use, which is the content items of features access used by resource. So we see that the majority of the time, as far as you know, re resources are concerned, um, are in workflow. Um, next is in the videos, um, or I'm, I'm sorry, uh, let's go into courses, then the videos, right? And then we have um, documentation, right? Um, at the bottom left, we have the co the top content co contributors. So let's scroll down. And it says that um, boundary user one has, you know, basically added the most content to the platform. And then we have a number of unique active users. So um, in December, 2020, we had a lot of activity and it's kind of been the same, you know, from March to, to April here, right? Right, and again, we have the, the administer utility, right? So this basically shows us the users. We have boundary user one, John H and, and William. We have a sing out, the single sign-on settings. Permissions, you can assign different permissions to um, standard users, content managers, administrators, unassigned expertise, updates and usage, and integrations. We have uh, Knowledge Smart. Knowledge Smart delivers assessments along with skill gap analysis and benchmarking services to help AEC firms maximize the return on investment in technology, people and client services. And we also have web settings, right? Okay, yeah, so that's basically a, um, a quick you know, um, synopsis overview of the um, e-learning platform. I hope that you saw that the the platform is very easy to navigate. You know, whether it's you know, going from the home page to the work group or the, the home page to the learning center. You know, browsing all training, right, and even um, creating these um, assets, right, that you can add. Um, one thing to note is that. Um, if you go back to the um, management utility, right? And we go to the administrator utility. Um, if you create, or let's go to the content, manage content. If you create these different workflows, right? And let's go again back here and take a look at it. Let's go into the workflows, right? So this workflow ba basically starts for, you know, being, being a Creo trainer. Uh, this is the example that I use, but 
Uh, this basically helps guide somebody into finding the training content if they're a trainer. So if they need access to the training guide, overhead slides, and um, exercise files, right? They can kind of go through this flow chart and kind of see where, where those things are and how to do download them, right? So if I select the first one, to locate the Creo 4.0 training folder, it says, okay, first you want to find that the Creo 4.0 training folder. This is where it's at, and it shows an image, right? There's a link to that folder. And the second one says, um, next find the manual. This shows where the manual is, and then you can download it here. So if I click on the surfacing training manual and click that, right? It's going to pop up here because there's a link to it. And then same thing down here, there's overheads. I can click that. And here it pops up the slides for me. And then there's the exercise files, right? So I have the actual um, fl flow chart block here that says download and extract the surfacing exercise files. It shows where those files are. And I also have a, a link to those files that I can bring up. And then here's the zip file that I can extract. All right, and what's nice is if I if I go back to the um, utility, right? I have the option up here. If I right click, I can say um, print save, right? And then it gives me the option here to save this as a document that I can share with share with somebody, right? So from here I can say save, and if I save it, let's just pull it up here. Now I have this PDF. Um, it says the workflow prep for Creo 4.0 service surfacing class. And again, right, this could be anything you want. This could be an engineering change request documentation that shows how that process is um, handled and the, the different steps that you take to complete it. Um, it could be stuff for onboarding an employee uh, for them to meet with different people or you know, departments you can say, hey, you know what, day day one, meet with HR. Here are documents that are, you know, related to HR. You know, day two, meet with um, production. Here's our here's the documents for production. Day three, meet with engineering. Here's all the here's all the related you know documentation to engineering. So you can have this kind of guide that you create with different links and images that you can share with that person. To kind of get them up to speed on what it is that they need that, that they need to know, you know. So there's that document. All right. So yeah, in a nutshell, really, you know, hopefully you've seen that's really easy to basically, you know, create create tra training and assign that training. If I go back to browse all training, and let's go into Creo 4.0 Advanced assembly design let's click on that um, we saw that you can enroll all or enroll in a specific topic slash slash chapter of that course um, there's awful if you click on one of the one of the um, topics here within the course if I click on a search using the find command for example you'll see that just like what you've seen if you ever use any PTC training you'll you'll know that it provides you know documentation as far as different steps that you have to take um, to, to complete that exercise. So here it says click find the bottom of the window or click find in the tools tab to op open the search tool. So you would basically just scroll down here and follow those, those different steps. All right, and there's even, um, depending on what you click, there's a video as well, right? So we have different steps that we can take, right? So we have the 3.1, layers in assembly mode, select that, right? These will give all the different steps that we need to take to complete that exercise, right? But there's also a video, right? So if I go into um, management, right? Um, they also have these videos as well that are helpful. So if I go to the video that's called suppress and resume and select that and click play, All right, you'll see that the instructor includes their slides, right? And basically what they do is they go through the slides talking about the concepts of the um, topic or the feature that they're talking about, right?
Right? And again, you know, you don't have to assign the, the whole course, right? You don't have to enroll in the whole course. You can just choose the chapter or the topic that you want to enroll in. And you can also share that, right? So if you feel like if you're an admin, for example, and you feel like your engineering group would um, benefit from using the skeleton models, you could always select that guy, right? And then you could go to um, skeleton models here. And if this on, on topic would help your engineering group, you can say, hey, you know what? I think that those guys would benefit from this. Let's share that and let's share it to the, to the engineering team. Continue. And now if we go back to that work group and go to the boundary engineering team, right, you can see that we assign that to it, right? Okay, yeah, so that's um, that, That's it for me. Um, I, I hope you guys enjoyed that and kind of got a chance to um, absorb that information and see how um, powerful and um, beneficial it is to your, your company, being able to access that um, information as far as e-learning is concerned, you know, on demand 24-7. Um, so if you want, you can contact me at my email here, contact sales. Um, you can also, um, let me go back a slide, sorry about that. All right, you can also go to our website and you can go to our channel on YouTube. And with that, I'll open it up to questions. Anybody have any questions? Okay, so it looks like that we don't have any questions, so I'll go ahead and um, exit. Thanks for joining. Thanks. Bye.